Hello and welcome back to another set of readings of Lotus Love Tarot 555. Okay, you guys, I am here with your full moon readings. Okay, so towards the end of this uh, video, you will be able to get some information on what to expect with this Aquarius full moon. But right now, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for all the love and support you continue to give our channel. Okay, you can apply this reading today and this is a very mini reading, you guys. You understand? Very many reading. The only reason we do these readings is to give you an idea of where to set your intentions. So if you don't know how to set your intentions, look below. Okay, there's a link right there and it'll explain everything, all the steps in setting your intention for this full moon energy. Okay, so you can apply this to your sun, your moon, your rising, and for some, even your Venus sign once again. Um, so it's so important to use this energy, this information that's going to be coming forth today in these decks because spirit is kind of getting you to hone in on those energies and those situations that you kind of need to deal with. All right, so make sure you do that. Um, it's so important to use that energy so once again if you're on instagram okay please follow us at lotus love tarot 555 don't forget we have the lotus love show every monday through thursday 9 p.m eastern standard time so meet us right back here uh, if you have not already check out your twin flame soulmate readings for august we have completed those and there are extendeds that go along with that if you're a member of our Patreon, you get to see all of the extendants for one low price. If you're not interested in the Patreon membership, then there is an extended link that's below each one of those readings as well. Okay? I think that's all I need to tell you guys. So remember, once again, this is a mini reading. And if you want information about this Aquarius full moon, just let your reading play a little further and we'll have that towards the end of the reading the mini reading okay all right my loves now on to your reading hello my pisces okay you guys let's get right into your reading this is your reading as you begin to set your intentions for your full for the full moon occurring on august 3rd 2020 all right holy spirit divine creator universe with messages need to go forth for the sign of aquarius i'm sorry for the sign of Pisces. I'm thinking about the Aquarius full moon coming in. Okay, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Pisces as they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on August 3rd, 2020? What messages need to go forth for the sign of Pisces? What does Pisces need to know? Wow. All right. Holy Spirit, divine creator of the universe, the messages they go forth for the sign of Pisces as they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on August 3rd, 2020. The messages need to go forth for the sign of Pisces. What does Pisces need to know? What does Pisces need to know? All right, Pisces. Now that was theatrical. <laughs> that was theatrical. Okay, let's see what's going on. Holy Spirit, divine creator, the universal messages need to go forth for the sign of Pisces. As they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on August 3rd, 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Pisces? Spirit, divine, creator, the universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Pisces as they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on August 3rd, 2020. Wow. We have a very interesting shuffle. It's like the Spirit said, listen, I already know what I need to say. Let me go ahead and say it. The Pisces, well, you are the most intuitive sign as well. Holy Spirit, divine creator, the universe with messages need to go forth for the sign of Pisces as they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on August 3rd, 2020. The messages need to go forth for the sign of Pisces. What does Pisces need to know? Right there. All right, my Pisces, let's see what is going on. Let's see what Spirit has for you soulmate yes this is your soulmate all right so soulmate could be any relationship 
What this means is that you're in a situation right now where you are learning a lesson or a cycle is ending for you or your soul is trying to ascend to another level. Um, could be, again, that you're learning a lesson or someone is learning a lesson from this relationship that you're in, okay? Um, you're learning something new. You're participating in something new as far as your soul and your spirit is concerned. Break free, okay? Try different ventures and experiences as a way to grow and learn. So it doesn't necessarily, I'm not feeling like you need to break free of the soulmate. This, this could be what you guys need to do together. You need to do things that you haven't done before. But let me just keep going. A new dawn, the worst is now behind you, and a positive new experience are on the horizon. Positive new experiences are on, on the horizon. All right, so with this, you could be, for some of you, this may mean you need to break free of the soulmate right here. So a new dawn can come in for you. The worst is now behind you, and a positive new experiences are on the horizon. It could be a business venture. You're a born entrepreneur, and your business is surrounded. Your and your business is surrounded by magical opportunities. Now, I don't know if this person you need to break free of this person for all of this to come in for you, but this is very clear now. Um, some something or someone that you're you're needing to break free from because you got a business opportunity, a new dawn, new beginnings, and fresh start. Oh my gosh. New beginnings and fresh start. I'm not sure you're doing this with this person or without this person. Oh, my God. You got the same message from three different decks. Goodbye to the old, hello to the new. You finished one part of your life, and now a new and even better part is beginning. I don't think this has ever happened. You got the same message from three different decks. Oh, my goodness. I, oh, my goodness. Winter. The answers to your prayers and affirmations are fully realized in the winter months. Pisces, you are needing to break free from something. Do you understand that? You're needing to break free from something or someone because it says goodbye to the old, hello to the new. I don't know if this is this person here that you need to break free from. So you got three different messages saying the same thing. Oh my God, you got the same message from four different decks. Let go. This is scary. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Break free. Let go. This is unbelievable. Okay, now this is like scary unbelievable. You guys. It doesn't get any clearer than this. Oh, my goodness. If you want to do a private reading, information pertaining to that can be found below. You got a new beginning, but you got to say goodbye to the old. And you got to break free and let go of it. And it could involve this person right here. And everything's going to manifest for you in the winter time. And you got a business venture. All right. You guys, I'm done. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Until next time. Bye-bye. Okay, my loves, just a little information about this Aquarius full moon that's going to be coming through today on August 3rd. Um, first of all, understand that Aquarius is the sign of visionary, okay, of visions and being a visionary. It is a fixed sign and it is an air sign, okay? Um, it kind of focuses on freedom, um, revolution, um, change. Um, Aquarius energy, it also focuses on the collective, Okay, um, roles within friendships, uh, social groups, and our communities at large. So whatever community that you're in, whatever friendships that you're in, whatever whatever social groups that you're in, this full moon is going to kind of put an emphasis on that. Okay, um, this full moon is going to encourage us to better balance our hearts. Um, with our minds and release anything that's no longer serving serving our highest good, okay? It's going to make us release things that are not serving us. And full moon energy, what it kind of, it, it, what it does, it, it kind of illuminates those energies, okay? It kind of illuminates those situations in our mind. And it begins to help us unravel and understand some of the parts of ourselves 
you know, that fit into this kind of framework. It kind of gives us more clarity um, than before. And that's what happens with that full moon energy. We begin to see things a little bit more clear, um, get, have a little bit more intense, intense understanding. And so as you're going through this full moon energy, make sure you're la allowing the full moon energy to work for you and not against you. Because once again, it can be a very intense energy. But it's so important that we begin to hone in on those specific areas that I talked about. Because again, with this, with it being in the sign of Aquarius, Aquarius is a sign that kind of focuses more so on the collective, more so on the community, more so on friendships, okay? And so that's where your focus is going to kind of be for um, this full moon energy. All right, my loves, if you want to do a personal reading, Information pertaining to that can be found. Be Until right. next time, bye-bye.